It doesn't matter whether it's your first time here or if you're returning. Everyone can agree that nothing sounds better than hearing those words, welcome home. Hi, I'm your host, Corey Emanuel, and today we turn the spotlight on Erskine's formal opening, a welcoming back of sorts, where everyone from faculty and staff to students and locals can come together as a community and affirm the foundation upon which Erskine College exists. To glorify God as a Christian academic community where students are equipped to flourish. It's my distinct pleasure and privilege to welcome each and all of you to the formal opening convocation of this, the 175th year of the college. We gather again this day as a community of faith to give thanks to the Lord our God, and particularly for the new students and colleagues whom the Lord has called to join us in that effort this year. What we do here is a relational model. It's a relational way of educating. And we do that in part, in large measure, because we serve a relational God. And this is the way He deals with us as people. Uh, and so this is the way we deal with each other, students and faculty, staff, everybody in the Erskine community. We turn now to some of Erskine's newest faculty members. I love Erskine students because they respond in ways that I've never seen students respond before. When I came for my interview and I taught a sample class, the students came up to me after class and they wanted to continue talking about the literature. And I thought, this isn't how it works, you're supposed to grab your books and run. But they have a genuine desire to know and a real aptitude. I've, I've taught the most amazing students here. You know, everything we do is, is to glorify God. So I like to be excited about what I'm teaching. I want others to be excited about what I'm teaching. And I want to look at the ethical. There's a lot of, everyone thinks accounting is black and white. It's just numbers. But there's a lot of decision making in accounting and in business in general. And I think Erskine's Christian Liberal Arts program helps students make better decisions in the future. I wanted to come to Erskine because I attended a small liberal arts college myself as an undergraduate. I always imagined myself in graduate school going back to that kind of environment and giving other students the kind of education that I received there. And when I arrived at Erskine for my interview, when I got out of the car, I was immediately struck by the sense of community. The community isn't just the college, it is the town of Due West as well, and Erskine's the heart of the town. It's not just about the liberal arts, it's about the liberal arts because the students we're working with are whole persons and we're trying to develop and, and equip them to flourish in all areas of life, not just one or two or, or even three or four, but all. 